So, let's check out the packaging for Battle Armor Batman. Yeah, it comes with a gun, but it's actually not a gun. On the back of the packaging, it says... Wait, it's an action blaster. So I guess it would be some form of a gun? Eh? But as you can see, they also have... Shield Clash. Superman. Gratna Blast Batman. And... Gauntlet Assault Batman. Yes. That mm, armor Batman, people. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at Epic Battle Superman, which I highly doubt he'll be wearing something like this in the film. But hey, we don't know. They could be keeping it under wraps. It could be a super twist. What a twist! But anyways, he comes with a battle hammer, which looks more like an axe? Yeah. But also in this line, you can also collect Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and <laughs> the figure I just showed, of course, Battle Armor Batman. And finally, we have Wonder Woman, who comes with her lovely sword and shield. Yeah, sword and shield. Let's open them up. Ready? Ready? Let's do this. Battle Armor Batman. Head can rotate a full... nope. Well, you can, but be kind of uh, forcing it a bit because this piece around his uh, neck sort of hinders his head movement from going a full 360, but you totally can. It's just you just have to force it, and I don't want to break his head off. Look at this articulated wrist. His arms move up and down. Does he have elbow joints? Yes, he does. Does he has wrist, or not wrist, I mean uh, waist swivel. No, he does not have any waist articulation. Uh, let's see, yeah, move at the legs, knee joints, pretty cool. Aw, oh, no articulation in the ankles. That's all right. There's the bottom of his feet there. Oh yeah, it's important to point out that his cape is sort of a shiny plastic material. It's not cloth like uh, some of the previous Batman figures that have came out from, uh, you know, DC Collectibles or some uh, other uh, companies, but, uh, okay. I see what they got going on here. It's pretty cool. Let's stick this in his hand. Is, uh, what is this called again? Where did I throw that box to? Ah, there it is. Okay. Oh, it says <laughs> Action Blaster. So, pew pew, pew pew. Pew pew! Yeah, got my action blaster because, well, that's what Batman uses, right? He uses an action blaster. All right, let's open up Epic Battle Superman. Ready? And get his battle hammer or uh, axe. It looks like an axe. I'm sorry. This does not look like a hammer. All right, throw these yeah, to the side. So, let's check out his articulation. Huh. Kind of same thing with um, Battle Armor Batman. Some of the head movement is kind of hindered by that piece around his uh, his uh, neck area. All right, so arms. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, that's pretty cool. So that could kind of move up so it doesn't hinder most of the arm movement, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice, check that out. Got elbow articulation in the elbows and Oh, he swivels there, too, at the uh, forearm. Wait, did I miss that on the Batman figure? Let's see. No, it does not swivel at all. Uh, only on the Superman figure. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, yes. Pretty cool, pretty cool. No wrist articulation. No movement in the waist, as you can see. Mm. Legs do move forward and back. Oh, about that much. Yeah, it's as far as his leg can move back to, but he does have knee articulation and, of course, no ankle pivots or anything like that, since these are for the younger kids. But you take his battle axe, <laughs> stick it in his hands. Uh, well, if you look at his hands and you look at this axe, it's going to require a little bit of work. So while I work on that, I'll talk about his cape. Once again, shiny plastic material. I shouldn't say shiny, sorry. I should say smooth. Smooth plastic material 
much like this Batman figure, and I can't get his axe in his hand. Ah! You know what this means. It's editing time. And voila! Batman is holding his axe. You know what? This is stupid. Why does he need an axe? Get that out of here. Ah. Yeah. Now we could recreate that famous scene in the trailers. Wait a minute. Nope. He didn't have that in the trailers. Okay. Yeah. He's looking up. And he's like, dun, 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 dun. Tell me. Do you bleed? You will. Yeah. Yeah. Batman versus Superman. Yeah. Oh, uh, Batman, no! Oh, he just... Well, there goes Batman. He just flew off my table. <laughs> and finally, we have the lovely Diana, a.k.a. Wonder Woman. So... She is free! All right. <laughs> uh, so, very cool. Articulation in the arms. Oh, swivel movement there. Okay, pretty nice, pretty nice. Elbow articulation, the head. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, the head movement is really hindered because of her hair, as you can see how it's sculpted. Yeah, not really big of an issue there. Don't really mind that. Um, no articulation in the waist. Would have been nice if she did, though. And she got her lasso of truth there hanging off the side. Very nice. Um, her legs, okay. That's cool. They move forward and back. Very nice. Uh, doesn't move back too much though. Because of her uh, skirt or tunic, whatever you want to call that. Knee articulation, of course. And no articulation in the ankles. Alright, so let's give her her sword and shield here. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if I can squeeze that in her hand. Oh, that sounded so wrong. All right. Come on, Wonder Woman. Just hold it for me, please. Just put it in your hand and hold it. And just give it a good squeeze. Wonder Woman, why can't you just hold your sword, please? There you go. There you go. Okay. Woo! All right. Wait, is there any wrist articulation? No, nope, no wrist articulation. All right. Don't know if I forgot to mention that earlier, but anyways... Here's her shield, uh-huh, as it, okay, I think it's this way, it goes on, right, that looks about right, all right, all right, put that, Oh. oh, wait, nope, that's wrong, I'm doing it so wrong, goes on like that, all right, so I was getting her wrist in between those, which is the incorrect way, actually goes on like that, I, at least I think, so there, there we go, all right, cool. So she got a mighty sword and trusty shield here. And you sort of swivel her arm there in front of her torso to help protect her from a doomsday blast, I guess. Like they spoiled in the friggin' trailer! Uh, uh, this is important to mention. It is kind of loose on her. It doesn't really, um... Okay. I mean, it's good enough, but I don't know. It doesn't really snap on too tightly. So if you move it around a lot, it might come loose. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's good enough. But yeah, you know, uh, oh, see, there it goes. Yeah. So you know what? Boop! Screw that. So you can have her come down like, Is she with you? I thought she was with you. Too many DC characters in a Superman sequel. All right, so all joking aside, I thought I'd sort of do a size comparison with these new Batman vs. Superman figures and the Movie Masters um, Man of Steel figures from the uh, first film. Uh, in my other video I did, I call these uh, Movie Masterpiece. They're just called Movie Masters, so that was my mistake. Um, so they're roughly around the same height as you can see there. So these basic six inch figures, um, they do line up well with the Movie Masters. I do have the DC Multiverse figures. Um, those I have not opened, so I can't really give it a fair comparison. Um, the reason why I have not opened them yet is because I want to keep them displayed inside the box. 
you go. Kalel and Jarrell. Looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Zod here and Battle Armor Batman. Let's see. Fixes his feet there. And yeah, it's about the same height. Uh, what I noticed uh, with this Batman and the multiverse version right here, I think the multiverse version is definitely a lot taller. Uh, I don't know if I could line that up pretty good because he's inside the box, but yeah, he looks a bit taller, right? And I'll show you the other um, multiverse figures I have. Superman, which they made slight differences to from the uh, Movie Master version. And I have uh, Batman, of course. Alright, so <laughs> thanks for watching this uh, fun video. Hope you had a good laugh, and I'll see you guys later.